What are we doing today? Gases. Gas laws. And all we are going to do with our gas laws is we're going to play with the combined gas law. We are going to play with P1, V1 over N1, T1, or we're simply going to look at what happens as we change our conditions. We know that our combined gas law is this. We're not doing the ideal gas law. We're just changing things. We have four separate steps to today's experiment. Step one is we're going to take an aluminum can. And we're going to take into our aluminum can. And when you grab your aluminum can, make sure that the tab is put all the way in so this is nice and open. Get 10 mils of water. This does not need to be deionized. All we're going to do is boil it and just add 10 mils. And when we say 10 mils, we're talking kind of about 10 mils. Pour it in. Pour the 10 mils of the water into your can and put it onto your hot plate. And by the way, the first thing you need to do when you get in today is put a hot plate on, get it hot. And by hot, we're talking 350, we want good and hot. And also get some water on there as well. We're gonna do lots of stuff with heat because we know if we change the temperature, we change the gas, yes? We change the properties of the pressure or the volume. So if I have water and I put water in my aluminum can and I put it on the heat, what's the water gonna do? It's gonna boil. My water is a liquid, it's going to go into water as a gas. So if I have my nice aluminum can and I have my water down here, not only is the water going to boil, it is going to force all of the air out such that my entire can is going to be filled with H2O as a gas. We good? So the question then is what are you going to do with this? Well, we're going to get ourselves a nice ice bath. You get an ice bath. You're going to grab some water or, and some ice, excuse me, and some water. The key here is that for a good ice bath, you have to have both the ice and the water. The water is the thermal contact um, to make this thing work. And you're going to have ice and water. You will take your can when the water is boiling. By the way, how do you know this will be boiling? Bubbles. Yeah, well, you can't see the bubbles because it's a can. Temperature? Steam's going to come out the top. Look for the steam. When you get a nice flow of steam out the top, you need to grab a pair of hot gloves or you can use a crucible um, clamp and you're just going to take your can off and you're going to invert it fast, and I mean fast, into the ice water. And something is going to happen and it will be cool. Except that you need to remember one thing because your job at the end of today's experiment is to explain what happened. What happened in terms of the gas laws? So you need to do two things. One, the gas laws only apply to gases, yes? Yes? Yep. Step two, science never sucks. Okay? Gases. You gases when we say that, you know, you get gases and go, oh, well, something got sucked in by the vacuum. That does not happen. Gases push. So if you have some sort of a change in something, it's not because it got sucked in, it's because it got pushed from the outside. So be really careful when you explain this and do not tell me that it sucked. Are we good? Okay, then. That's step one. Step two. Step two, we are going to play with a balloon. And you're going to take a nice pre-blown up balloon. And we're so cheap, we blow them up. Mostly because I have to pay for the stupid things. And you're going to take your balloon and you're going to put it in a hot water bath. And if you take your balloon, first of all, what's the pressure inside the balloon? 1 atm. What's the pressure outside the balloon? 1 atm. Good. What's going to happen when I take the balloon and put it in warm water? It's going to... Well, it's going to do something first. Inflate. Why is it going to inflate? No, because the temperature goes up. The pressure is the same. Is the volume flexible? Is the volume variable? Yeah, it's a balloon, people. The sides move, so therefore the volume is variable. So if you take and you get hot, you've got to think about what's going on. You're then going to take the same balloon and you're going to stick it to an ice bath. What's going to happen? It better get smaller. It better decrease. And you better explain to us what is going on in terms of P and V and N and T. We good? All right, so that's going to be the balloon. When you're done, I'm serious, put it back. All right, so part C. Part C is uh -huh, uh, balloon, glass boiling water. Fantastic. Part C, you're going to need an Erlenmeyer flask. 
which I have. You're going to need an Erlenmeyer flask, and you are going to put some water in it. And you are going to mess with, again, your Erlenmeyer flask. So if we take our flask, and we're going to put it onto our nice hot plate, and you're going to put a balloon on it. When you put the balloon on the flasks, and do it carefully, because the balloons are cheap, because I had to buy them. What's going to happen? It's going to inflate. Why is it going to inflate? Because the gas is evaporating. Oh, it's evaporating. So are we changing maybe more than one thing as we do this? You need to think about what's going to happen with this. And then when you're done getting this, and you'll see the change, you're going to take and stick it into ice water and see what happens. What happens with the temperature when we do this? And realize that in this one, again, we have this process going on as well. All right, last step. The last thing you are going to do is mess around with the marshmallow because marshmallows are fun. Do you want to eat one? Yes. Are you going to eat one? No, because trust me, you have no idea where these things have been. All right. You're going to grab yourself a little sidearm flask. It will have a stopper on it, and you'll put your marshmallow into the sidearm flask. What you need to know about a marshmallow is this. Marshmallows have little cells in them. And the little cells in the marshmallows, just like little holes, yeah? What's the pressure in them? One ATM. Okay? We're going to pull a vacuum on it. So you are going to go over here, and you are going to hook this up to the yellow one. If you hook this up to the gas one, bad things are going to happen. Yes? And I don't want to give you a zero and throw you out, so don't do it. Hook it up to the vacuum. Yellow. We good? You will put this on, and then you'll hit, and just turn this on and it will pull a vacuum. And something will happen to the marshmallow. And when it happens, you will explain it. Are we good? In terms of P and V and N and T. And at that point, you will throw the marshmallow out because it's really weirdly crunchy. And uh, you will clean up and go home. And you'll go, yeah, that was cool. We good? Have fun.